Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Friends, I'm Meer Muhammad Wasik on your channel Meer's Electro World. Today, the topic on which uh, uh, I'm making a video is uh, the RPM meter or a tachometer. So, the things required for today's, uh, you know, this uh, to understand how uh, you know the tachometers work, we need a obviously a tachometer, right? We need a rotating device, right? And uh, we need a reflecting strip. Now, <clears throat> let's see what exactly a tachometer is. Uh, well, a tachometer is a device that is useful in measuring the operating speed of an engine at the revolution of RPM and is helpful for planes, both cars and other types of vehicles. Now, the simple working principle of a RPM meter or a tachometer is that uh, the RPM sensors convert this mechanical motion that's due to the, you know, the rotation of the device, right, into electrical pulses with or without direct contact uh, when positioned near a turning rotor, gear, shaft, or other regularly moving device. Now, the resultant output is then fed to a digital counter, tachometer, or a monitoring and control device. Now these are the, this is the little diagram here, right? Uh, this is the tachometer, right? This is a rotating object or a rotating device, right? And this is the reflective strip here. Now <clears throat> this, uh, you know, the laser, there's a laser right here in non-contact tachometers, the one I'm using today, right? There are a couple of types I'll show you. Um, you know, the beam from uh, this uh, laser will strike with the reflective strip and it comes back and in this way there is a, you can say like a, a contact between this uh, tachometer and the uh, rotating object now the types are here this one uh, this one uh, is uh, analog uh, or we call it a, uh, you can say a contact tachometer this is basically uh, we place this uh, you know this uh, uh, this rotor of uh, this rotor to the device that is moving. This is the contact one, right? This one is uh, a non-contact tachometer. The one I'm using. This one is a this one is a non-contact tachometer, right? So this is based on the time. So this is the timer tachometers. These are the frequency-based tachometers. This is an analog tachometer, right? And it's a uh, digital uh, non-contact tachometer. Now, based on the working principle, a tachometer may be electronic or mechanical. It works based on the working principle of the tachometer. Let us know now about the principle itself. A tachometer works on the principle of relative motion. The device operates between the shaft of the device and the magnetic field. It works as a generator and produces the voltage as per the velocity of the stick. Uh, the device counts the number of rotations that the shaft make per minute. So it's called a RPM meter, revolution per minute, or a tachometer. Uh, these tachometers are uh, working on the available, um, you know, direct currents, or you can say like on the alternating currents. The one I'm using today, this one, right? This one is working on direct current. It's six volts, right? It's six volt direct current. So let's start. How to measure it? Uh, we need this uh, reflective strip. We place this reflective strip here onto this, uh, you can say like this disc, right? And I'll show you how I make this one, right? It's a CPU fan, basically, right? It's a CPU fan. It's a DC fan, right? And I place this uh, round shape, uh, round shape uh, thermopole here, right? To make this uh, rotating device so we can measure the rpm right so we place this uh, strip over here it's the reflective strip now let's turn on the tachometer we turn on the tachometer now the tachometer is turned on and uh, <clears throat> we have to use this measure button here there is a button here uh, to, to measure right so just be, i'm starting this device now the device is started, so now I'm just 
pressing this Meyer button, right? And uh, now it's getting the readings. Now it's uh, it's Meyer. You zoom the camera onto the screen. Zoom the camera onto the screen, and uh, we see it's two thousand three hundred and seventy five. RPM 74.5 so it's nearly 75 so it's 2375 RPM so in this way we are measuring the RPM of this rotating disk so here it is and uh, you measure it so that's a little video today I make on the you know the tachometers and uh, how to use the tachometers uh, and uh, what are the things required hope so you like my this video on the rpm meter and if you like my this video friends click on the thumbs up button right share it with your friends okay and subscribe my channel thank you thanks for watching